All right, what's up everybody? The times are changing. I've got a new webcam here. So my webcam quality is better. I'm just doing a short video to test that out. Um, the audio should also be better too. This thing's got a stereo microphone and claims to have noise cancellation. So I'm sure it's better than whatever's built into the laptop I'm using here. So we'll just see how it looks and it sounds. And now I've got, uh, you know, it's not attached to the computer, so I can put it wherever I want. I'm trying out this probably better setup where we don't have the light over my head anymore. So it's a quick one um, just for testing. So we're going to be doing a blitz game, 3 plus 2, within my rating range, of course. So lately I've been doing pretty good on a few of the tournaments. I'm up to mid-1700s now. Never gotten above 1800, so that would be a short-term goal. Although, of course, we just want to play good chess. Um, we're getting a Queen's Gambit. I want to try playing Queen's Gambit Accepted, because um, I feel like not too many people are used to... I don't see, I'm a Queen's Gambit player myself, and I don't see it too often. Um, but we're just going to play the Grunfeld. Grunfeld, as always. Interesting. I feel like I've seen this one before, but I'm not super sure what to do against it. Um, I've I kinda wanted to play c5 right away, but maybe this move that goal is to stop c5. I'm not sure. Uh if b6, then I'm preparing a6, he can just go e3 as you see here, they're doing anyways. The problem with the Grunfeld is there's not usually a good place for the light squared bishop. It's, it's a problem pretty frequently. They're playing this pretty well, I would say. Yeah, that was a clear blunder. So let's just try to confuse them. They can just move the queen and they've won a piece for not much on my side. I needed to get in c5 before I ended up getting it in. Um, I think I'm just going to have to take a loss in the night, so what can I do in the meantime? Um, Eh, uh, it's painful. Probably just develop the rook. They're trying to see if there's anything clever they can do to get more out of this, because I can't really escape this pin here. But they decide they can't, which makes total sense. Dark squared bishops are off the board, which is my best piece. So now I think I just have to try and play fast. Let's go for a chi. Uh, they can't move this knight because I have bishop a4. In that case, they're just going for simplification. Makes perfect sense. I've doomed my dark squared bishop, or my light squared bishop into being ineffective forever. Maybe we can get an attack going here. Interesting. Um, that gives me this, which who knows if it's good or not. Ah, but then they get in here. Um, Let's go in here. If they take, I can take with check. I don't know if that helps so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not playing this too well. Hmm. So what can I do? I definitely have to move the queen. Why not move it with check? This knight's unprotected. I've got a pawn storm going. That's about all I've got going for me. So let's just push these pawns. 
I don't like that this knight can escape now, though. Let's just go back here. Oh, yeah. Not so good. Probably should have moved to f8 so I could take with my king. We're going to play it out. We're going to make them win it. Even though it shouldn't really be too hard of a task. Hmm. How to... Can I somehow invade somewhere? Gotta protect all my stuff. That's a good move. Another good move. I was, guess I was threatening this pawn, but it didn't make too big of a deal. I wonder if even queen d8 is a fine way to win. Yeah, they're preparing that, so there's not much I can do against that. I'll go here. This is a nice blockading piece. We're just going to keep running away. Hope they forget that their queen's the only thing protecting. Oh, that's a nice move, though. Because now they can got rook d8. And they can at least trade rooks once, and then rook d1 is probably fine to win. Um, anything else I can do? Keep pushing these pawns and just see how they choose to win. Even rook takes and then queen d8 is, might even be faster. So when you're losing like this, it's you can pretend you're the other player and try to find the most efficient moves to beat you. Then you feel good if you find something. That's an interesting choice. It's probably pretty efficient too. Because if I um, blocked with the pawn, they had queen d8. Yeah, now they have this one anyways. It's the same idea. It's just one check. Um, I'm going to be annoying. You never know. They should just promote. Oh, that's another smart idea. They only have 30 seconds. I mean, 30 seconds is plenty of time if you're used to bullet. But these pawns, all they have to do is keep checking me. Find a good way to check me here, like that. Now probably queen f, yeah. Move back here. Queen f4, take the queens off the board. That's nice too. Rook c5. Queen f6. Mm, that's I so many ways to win. I probably should have resigned at that point. Let's play another one. Not blunder it away at the beginning of the game. El Petrov. Let's see what they got for me. Uh, Queen's Gambit declined. All the normal stuff. This is not quite normal though. I think it's called like... So I don't know what it's called, but I usually enjoy this because I've got two nice center pawns. And I could just develop 
these knights. Yeah, c5 is the move. And I don't really know what to do here, but I'm just going to develop and attack the bishop. Also protects the queen with the rook, so I don't have to take with the knight, move backwards, or take with the king and not be able to castle. Mm, I've never seen this position. I'm going to take with the queen, actually. If we get a queen trade, I'm pretty happy, because my pieces are in more active. Taking with the king, huh? Not so sure about that. I want to just c continue development. There's nowhere really good to put this bishop. If I put it on b5, then there's a6. And I can't retreat to a4 because the knight is here. So I've got a lead in development. Um, the king is not castled. And... I'm going to castle king's side, put rooks on d1, c1. I mean, that's normally the move that would make sense, but the fact that they can't castle should be helping me. Okay, so they're trying to escape like a multiple move castle. But I've got this, and they just dropped a piece. Cool. So that one went well. They want to rematch. Let's do it. We'll do one more. If they win, we'll give them the best of three, but otherwise that'll be it. So we'll play a French defense. They're going with the early f4. This is interesting. And I don't really know what's the best thing to do about it. Um, hmm. Let's just try to get rid of the bad bishop first and foremost. It does develop the knight to an odd square. Yeah, we're going to do this, keep them from castling. And hopefully get my... We can still attack the d4 pawn, as is usually what you do. Got this fly flying around in such a French, many French defense positions. But they're really just trying to attack here. The problem with this move is the bishop. <clears throat> it's stuck here. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think maybe I'm just going to make this weird queen maneuver, but there's no light square bishops. I see. Interesting. So they're trying to trade Mm, trade queens. Alright, final trade queens. I've seen this idea with f4 and trying to keep the king in the center. I can also keep my king in the center, is the thing. I'll definitely take that. It's a bad pre-move. I think... Hmm. I don't mind them pushing. Them taking, though... I think I should be okay. I haven't committed my king yet. That's good news. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and try to get my knights open up. I need to open up my rooks somehow. c5 would be great, so I'll have to move my knight again. Um, I think I have to take... They're really going for this pawn storm. It's so much clutter here. I, I'm also way down on time, so... Let's just go ahead and try to find good spots for my pieces. I don't mind if they push because then I get bishop d6. If they take, that's fine too. I'm going to take here.
I have to be wary of these pawns, though. Um, I think for now I should just keep things where they are. Maybe a rook. Hmm. There's so many options. I don't know what's the best. Wish I had more time to think about this position. I don't want to open this up for my rook and then castle this way. This might not be smart because it's a 3 to 1 majority over here. They should take with the e pawn. They do. Um, let's try to open up their king. Although I have a bad feeling that they're going to get one of these pawns up. But my pawns are approaching too. Let's just give them a check and hope they make a bad move. Not sure why they would do that one. But you never know. This one to follow, probably. Hmm. It's not looking good. Don't know if there's anything I can do. I'm just going to go here. But there's that. Just make some weird moves. They can double promote. It's pretty funny. Just take the just take the rook. Not sure that was best for them, but it really doesn't matter. I should have definitely taken their queen. They're looking for something efficient. I don't know why. Oh, that drops so many things. Queen e6 checkmate. I kind of want to rematch. All right, one to one. Hmm, they're playing this way. Against this, maybe just solid. They're really rushing their moves out. I think what I want to do we're both holding off um, yeah I'm not sure about the logic of this setup let's open this up and if they're gonna keep pre-moving like that They're going to lose a lot of things. I don't... Yeah, why someone would do, do something like this, I don't know. They're probably just impatient. Yeah, I'm not sure about that last game, but 
should be enough for now. So we'll see how it comes out. I think it should be a lot better than before. So see you guys next time.